Let me also express my appreciation to the MPs who have retired and the NCMPs who have stepped down. The longest serving is Mr. Go Chok Tong, who served for nearly 45 years, including almost 14 years as our Prime Minister. Mr. Goh's years as PM from 1990 to 2004 are remembered as a time of stability, peace and growth, during which we became a kinder, gentler society and a more confident people. He still asked through two major crises, the Asian financial crisis and SARS. He continued to contribute in many areas, even after stepping down as PM. Over the years, I had the privilege of working closely with Mr. Goh, including on many trips at ASEAN, ASEM, and APEC, where his easy rapport with leaders around the world enabled us to forge many new agreements and many new partnerships. It has expanded our external space. I remember vividly his advice to me during the global financial crisis when I was the managing director of the Monetary Authority of Singapore. ESM Go was then our chairman, and banks around the world were in trouble. So when we had to make a momentous decision on whether to seek the approval from the president for $150 billion guarantee on all bank deposits, backed up by our past reserve, I was very glad to have his wise counsel and his support for us to take difficult decisions head on. It was a lesson that stayed with me and continued to guide much of my work especially during this crisis. After I entered politics in 2001, ESM Go continued to be a good mentor with his signature mix of humour and wisdom. Mr Go has left an indelible mark on many Singaporeans, especially those of us in this house. When I last met him, Mr Go told me he was spending more time with Mrs Go and their children and grandchildren. Let us all thank Mrs Go and their family for being Mr. Goh's staunchest and closest supporters all these years, and I wish our beloved ESM a happy retirement. I also wish to pay tribute to other long-serving parliamentarians, including Bunwan, Han Kiang, Sui Se, Jacob, Charles, Lily, Hopin, and Cedric. They entered parliaments many years ago. Mr. Go in 1976, I recall. Bunwan and Han Kiang were my bosses at MTI. I learned a lot from them, and they have done much to advance our standing in the world and create new opportunities for our people. They may all have left Parliament, but I'm confident that they will continue to contribute to nation building in other ways. Let me also thank Mr. Lau Tia Kiang, who has served as an opposition member of Parliament since 1991. He's a fiery speaker at election rallies, but when it comes to the crunch, when our national interest is at stake, he stands together with the government. He has deep conviction about language, culture and heritage and the long-term success of Singapore. When I last spoke to him, he told me he was very happy playing with his grandchild. I'm also glad that he has recovered from his fall and wish him good health. <laughs> 